Hey guys, what's up? Moxie1701, your favorite gamer, <laughs> coming at you with a look at uh, something very cool. Recently, these things have been coming out all over the place, different versions of them. Uh, it's called uh, the Pandora's Box 4S. This is actually Pandora's Box 4S Plus. In here is a, a very nice pair of arcade joystick, not arcade style, these are actual arcade joysticks. You have a black one here for Fair Player One, and you have a white set over here for Player Two. In here you have a blue Pandora's Box 4S, and you have a speaker in here, which is controlled by a volume control located back here. You can see right over here, yeah. And back here, while I'm here, I'm going to show you this is the USB port. If you want to plug it into your PC, let me just focus. There we go. Can't seem to focus on that. There we go. You got your volume control, headphone jack, VGA, HDMI, and power. This is the main power switch here. And over here is a switch. As you can see, if you want to plug it into your PS1 or PS3 or Xbox 360. And the controls here are very cool. You have your coin, home select, blah, 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 start button. And over here you have your pause, home select, blah, 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 and start button. And you have six buttons for each player. Now this, like I said, it's a beautiful joystick, arcade joystick. And in here you also have 850 games, arcade games. All in here, in a little box called a Pandora's box. <laughs> it's really, really cool. I like it. And the games are, there's a lot of them, but uh, there's good and bad. It's good, there's a lot of games inside here, but not very well organized. I mean, they're organized by genre. There's fighting, well, more or less by genre. There's fighting, there's shmups, there's puzzle, and uh, classics, but all mixed up. Let's take a finishing look at the outside here. Here you have the joystick. Beautiful artwork on this one. On some of these, I noticed online, the artwork is very pixelated. There was one that had a picture of uh, one of the characters from Street Fighter, a close-up of him, and it was very pixelated, very bad. This, these are very well done, very nicely done. Very cool. No pixelation. I guess I was lucky I got a good one. <laughs> And let me turn this on, and I'll show you how it looks online. Lights come on. It takes a while. Hey there, how's it going? <laughs> it takes a while for it to show up on the screen, because the system is booting up. There we go. quality. It's always a good idea to, join, to enjoy your life with quality. <laughs> Shows you the Pandora's Box series. And here's the menu. Now it's very, very cool the way it's set up. You see a little video in the corner there. You see the list of games. And you see on the top where it says page 1 out of 82. Well, you take 82, you multiply that by 10, because there's 10 on each page. That's 820 games. As you can see, they're very easy to maneuver through. But I wish there was a way of going directly to a particular game or making your own list. But there isn't. Here we have the Hack and Slashes, Strider, Ghouls and Ghosts. <clears throat> Hold on a second here. There we go. You have Sailor Moon, Robocop. Here, I'll start up Robocop. To show you an example of what it's like. Hold on a second. There we go. Sorry about that. volume control over here so I can actually hear it. There we go. As you can see, the emulation is pretty good. Robocop. For some... Yeah, you're Robocop, I know. <laughs> the emulation is pretty good for most games. Robin. 
you push pause, and that's how you exit the game. Like I said, for some games, the emulation is spot on. For other games, there's going to be a lot of screen tearing. Let's see if I can get some uh, shmups here. Hack and slash. Oh, by the way, this game, uh, Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> it kind of sounds like it just had a heart attack or a stroke or something, but it's actually a good game. You should try it out. Here's another hack and slash, one of my favorites. That is so annoying. I wish I could turn it off, but there's no option for that, so we're stuck with it. And sometimes, for some strange reason, like now, it takes a long time to load. There we go. This is the classic 1990s Batman arcade machine. Keaton, yeah, he was good. Kind of short for Batman, though. There we go. Let's start. I'm I'm always careful, Batman. Oh, you see the background? You're gonna notice there's some screen tearing here. That's one of the problems with the system. There is a lot of screen tearing. And that can take away from some gameplay experiences. Let me show an example. Let's get to the shmoodem ups. Shmoodem ups, yes. The shoot em ups. Here we got Neo Geo, Eight Man. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, there's no real quick way of actually scanning through the games. You have to go through them page by page by page, which kind of gets to be a pain in the butt sometimes. Okay, here we go. Let's check out Gigawing. Or Mars Matrix. Mm, let's see. This one here. There we go. I really, really wish I could switch that damn noise off. Let's see if there's a demo on this game. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, it's kind of a demo screen, I guess. Not so noticeable in this one. The screen tearing is not so noticeable in that game. Uh, let me just find you a different one here. Hellfires, your ring. Let's try this one. That noise gets so annoying after a while. Hmm. Yeah, it's a few examples of some shmups that are on this system. And there's an airplane. Hold on a second. There we go. I found a game that I can show you. It might show you some of the tearing I was talking about. Watch out for your ears. As you can see, the emulation is very good in this machine. But as you saw in the intro of that game, there's some screen tearing issues. And uh, this list of games, it's so huge. I mean, it's hard to 
find the game you're looking for sometimes because it's not really organized in any particular way. I mean, they're loosely grouped into fighters, shmups, uh, hack and slashers, but not always because sometimes in the fighters genre you'll find some hack and slashers and sometimes in the shooters you'll find a fighter. Ugh. I wish there was a way you could organize the list of games better. And there's one other thing on this system, which uh, might be a problem with some of you purist guys out there. None of these games that you see over here, none of them are licensed. They're all bootlegs. Yeah. And none of the developers that worked on all those games over here are getting a single cent from the system. And the system was not cheap. It was a few hundred, a uh, couple hundred dollars. But these games were mostly made like 20 or more years ago. So I doubt that any of the developers of those games are still around. And even if they are, they probably forgotten about them by now. <laughs> so how are you going to make a game? I mean, how are you going to complain about a game you made 20 years ago that you've already forgotten? That you're not making money out of? You're not making money out of it anyway, so what's the big deal? This is a good way of keeping the gaming history alive. But this is a great system. I mean, there is some slowdown. There is some screen tear. And uh, the list is kind of a pain to maneuver through. But the construction quality is great. This thing is all solid metal. Really nicely done. And the joysticks are arcade joysticks. Again, really well built. It's worth the money that you're going to spend on it. You can find it. So pick one of these up, my friends. It's totally worth the price. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.